Hello guys, Boathouse. So, what we at? Uh, lesson three. Uh, sorry, sorry, it's been a little while, you know. Kids homeschooling and um, planning stuff and getting bits and bobs done. So today, I thought what we'd do is we would focus on, well, we've done We Will Rock You and we've done The Beat. I'd love to hear how you guys are getting on with that as well and how many different ways and different songs you could put that into. Okay, so I'm on my practice kit today. As you can see, there's the main kit there. So, I thought this one today we would work on some of the basic rudiments of drumming, which are a bit like on a guitar, you have scales. Sort of like the scales, but the drumming version. Okay, yet again, same thing. This can be done with hands on your legs, belly, head, surfaces, walls, curtains. If you do have a little practice pad, you can get just the singular pad that will go on the surface with a set of sticks for about a tenner on eBay. So, you know, if you've got one of those brilliant, then you can sit and you can really work. This one's got pedal, my spare pedals on it so I can get, so I can practice drum riffs. So okay, so I can practice all round, so it mimics kind of my drum kit, so I can practice silently. Right, so, the first one we're going to focus on, and it's getting both hands working. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, I'm really working on getting my left hand moving, okay, because I've got lazy left hand, you know, my right hand does loads. Okay, a few weeks ago, I couldn't do that. You know, so, so you can get nice and even. We're going to do be doing things slowly today, okay slowly and then you build up at your own pace it's not gonna come like that but this is really really important stuff to know so we're gonna start off with a paradiddle now a paradiddle is try to explain it because uh, I learned from sort of sheet music so a paradiddle is you start with the right hand or the left doesn't matter which one Okay, so we're going to start with the first bit of a paradiddle. And it's going to seem silly I'm doing this, but it will help you understand in the long run. So the first bit is, so we're going to set ourselves up and we're going to go. Okay. So. Right. Now, obviously, I've. I know you guys are really smart. You guys can get through that. So, we've got, got that. Okay. Change it around with the left hand leading as well. And then the right hand leading. Without hitting the sticks. Okay. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the rest. So, we've got... So, we've got one, two, and then we're going to have two hits with the right hand or if you start the left hand two hits with the left hand but we will be alternating a bit later on okay so we're gonna go and it's called a paradiddle because if you listen it goes paradiddle okay so as I said stop pause this try that very slowly just Okay, so four hits, okay? Not three, not two, not one, four. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna run through a few, okay? And if you watch, I'm, I will change hands and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. So we're gonna go. Okay, so what I did there, and this is the whole thing, and it's really good to practice, it's so important this in drumming, is, so, we go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, 
three, four. Okay, so we're switching hands. So we go, I'm right hand. So we're going to go right hand first, ready? So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. As yet again, you can pause this, do it at your own speed. I mean, if you do sound a bit wobbly, don't worry how you sound. Don't worry, don't get bogged down and stressed and upset. Don't do it, guys. It will help you in the long run, and it is really, really difficult to process the start. But once you know, you can, you know, it's it gets inbuilt. Okay, so that's a paradiddle. So we're going to run through a couple of times now. Okay, if you watch what I do, I'll do it really slowly, and I'll be I lift hands out the way so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to start with right. Left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, and that that is your basic paradiddle. And then yet again, you if you if you've got one of these or different surfaces, you can go right, left, right. You can, you can move it around, but build up the basic paradiddle first. And as I said, if you did download that uh, metronome app, I recommend it if you set it, you know, this is, set it at very low speed, so you want to, one, two, three, four, to start with, okay? And then obviously, the more comfortable you get, the faster you get. Don't just think, oh yeah, Oh, I, I know I can do it really quick. Don't think that. Okay. Now, that's that bit. Now, the second bit I wanted to run through with you today, and it's a silly name. They're, it's called doubles, but um, I've always known them in the drumming world, we know them as mummy daddies. Yep, yeah, that's right, mummy daddies. Okay, it's very similar. But, I'm going to show you with this hand first. Okay, so this is your mummy hand. This is your daddy hand. Yet again, if you're left-handed, then this will be your mummy hand. This will be your daddy hand. We will be alternating. Same thing. Right, so we're going to start with just doing the mummies. Okay, so we, we go mummy. One, two. Mummy. Okay, and then as I said, pause and practice that. I am giving you, I'm throwing stuff at you. So, okay, so that's your right hand. Now we're going to put the left hand in, and you're going to get the same hits with the left hand just so you get the feeling of it. Okay, so, D, one, two, da. Okay, now we're going to start this very, very slowly, guys. We're going to add both hands. Okay, so we're going to start with mummy and then daddy. Okay, and I'm going to do it a few times. Yet again, pause it, take your time, do, the, do it in little sections. I know I say it every video, but it is so important. And make sure you're having fun. If you start getting stressed, stop the video, walk away, have a cup of tea, beer, chocolate bar, you know, go outside or you know, do something else for a little bit and then come back to it, okay, with a calm mind. There's no point getting really stressed and angry because then you're just not going to want to do it. So, here we go together. Ready? So we're going to go, mummy, daddy, one, two, three. As you can see, the gap of one, two, three, four. I'm filling in the last bit of the four count with my left hand. So you get one, two, three, four, one, two. 
two, three, four, one, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, mummy, dad. If you say mummy, daddy in your head, it helps you as well. I found this. Mummy, dad. And then you speed it up. That's the better you get. Okay, and that, that's also the basis of a drum roll. So obviously, as I said, pause, pause this section, give it a go, take your time. You know, don't try and do it that speed straight away. Really, just I know it's boring, but it helps you in the long run. Promise me, promise me you will do that. That's the kind of speed. The same with the paradiddle. The Okay, the next bit I wanted to do was, you know, just ask you guys, let, let you guys know that I really want to know how you guys are getting on. If you have any songs you want me to work out the drum riff to that I can teach you, I will. That's not a problem. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to do what's called a three-stroke roll. Really easy. Yet again, we're going to be using both hands, and everything's on a four count. So if you've got the metronome, you know, one, two, you're going to want that. Okay, so three stroke roll is same thing. I will do it both ways. There's one, two, three, one, two, three. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. That helps in so many different drum breaks, even drum riffs. I can't, I can't even explain how these boring little bits, when you actually put them into playing, really do, really do come into their own. And because you practice them, you don't realise they're stored in there and you don't realise that you're doing them. It's a bit like um, things like if you listen to like My Hero's Neil Peart. Sadly, he passed away now, but from Rush, and he does a lot of these rudiments in his playing. And it, you know, it really does come out, and it really does show, and you help form your own style with you. You choose which ones you prefer as you go around the kit. Okay, so as that pause, work on right, left, right, uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so. That is called a three-stroke roll. Now, um, because I've been a bit lax, I'm giving you guys a longer video today, and I'm giving you a bit more. Okay, so, we're gonna work on five-stroke roll. That's right. Now, five-stroke roll. Same thing, same thing. It's all, you know, you start it with your metronome nice and, you know, don't, you know, we're, we're not playing metal, you know, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not getting up to that yet, you know, we don't need to, need to do that or drum breaks like that, you know, we, we don't need to worry about that. Five stroke roll, same thing, I start my right, but I will be alternative to my left, left, if you are left handed, then you start with your left. Then the right then okay and it's very good throughout all these exercises to keep switching hands because then you can become more ambidextrous as you move around the kit okay and it helps you with things like that you move round the kit. Right now, here we go. So, very slowly, okay, so five stroke roll is right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right. So we're finishing on the hand we start with. And when we alternate it, we go 
right, left, right, left, right, three, four, left, right, 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 left. Okay, now I, I, I do keep time. My left foot, sorry, is. Habit with a hi hat is it's normally that's normally pumping all the way through a gig or when I'm playing, it's just how I play, and a lot of people do it. You, you guys might even develop that while you're playing, or you keep you, you know, you might even develop it. Okay, so that's five stroke roll. Take your time, build that up slowly. Even if you don't want to switch straight away and you just want to stick with right hand, you can just. Okay. So yeah, I mean that's five stroke roll and okay. So there's a lot to work on. The very last thing I really want to give you guys today. And I promise you there will be another video by Sunday. I promise you. Sorry, I feel a bit lax. You know, not, I ran out of tea and everything. It was woo. so. What we're going to do? The last thing is called a flam, and this is used in a lot of lot of stops, a lot of pop music. You use it in the beat when you're doing the beat. You know. Okay, and the idea is. Uh, both hands come down together, not, sorry I tripled then, not, together, you hear it? Okay, um, I suppose, we will rock you, it has flams in it, there you go, that's the easy way to explain it, yeah. Yet again, practice slowly before before you before you think, ah, oh, I'm Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. You know, don't don't rush, don't rush. You know, so same thing, nice and slow. If you've got your metronome, if not, just tap really slow. You know, just a nice and just go. Okay, if you notice there, I was raising one stick higher than the other, and then I was alternating them, and there was a slight different sound. What that is, is I'm putting more power into one hand, so I'm accenting the note. So instead of, um, okay, you need a difference in the power. Okay, so all that is, is when I come down this time, I'm putting more power in my right hand, but still coming down together, they're still hitting the pad at the same time. This one's just got a bit more, as opposed to that, so, so you get a much broader sound. Same with, okay, so that, that's a flam. And so I've got my notes up there. And yeah, that that really does come into drum breaks as well. So you know you can put it into a paratiddle. Or Mummy Daddy. You know or five stroke roll. Or 
three stroke rolls. You, you can put flams in anywhere and they're great drum brakes. Um, there's a lot of them in, oh look, let me have a look from the last video. Uh, Uptown Funk, I didn't write that down, but that, that's, yeah, that's, it's a variation of the beat. So yeah, loads of pop songs using for stops to, you know, if you've got a beat build on. Three stroke roll there. Flam. You, or you can use them coming in, you know. You, you can even practice like that. Just have that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, use them, you know, put them in your practice, but yet again, start, slow, and then build up. Okay, that's basically everything I wanted to run through. Oh, no, 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 be your basic drum roll, because you guys are going to want to know. This is a lot of, um, you're going to hear me go one, two, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right in a minute. Same thing, but you start and we alternate which hand we start on. Same thing with the metronome, so I'm starting from the right. And basically a single stroke drum roll. It is as easy as it sounds. It is literally one, two, 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 Okay, so just run through there. Okay, so. And then you can get faster the more. Okay, so there's just a few little bits there for you guys to work on. That's only some, some of the very basics. Okay. Basically, it's the boring bits that I wanted to get. I wanted to get it over and done with because I will be referring to them in other lessons where I where I strip down drum breaks and explain to you how, how they get that sound because once you've learnt these with your hands, we can start playing about with them and you can start doing different things and bring your feet in instead of using the hand and some really cool stuff. But any songs you guys want me to do for you so I can teach you within these lessons, please, please let me know. Please, honestly, I'd love to break down. I'd love to do them for you. Okay, yeah, again, I'd love to see sort of the, some videos or messages. Let me know how you're getting on with these lessons. Same thing with the um, suggestions of songs. I mean, um, my other half's kids, um, they want to film a video for the NHS. They want to Don't Stop Believing. Uh, Jack, the eldest, he's going to be playing guitar, so I've got the music up there. I'm currently learning the drum riff to Don't Stop Believing, because that's what you want me to do. So, yeah, please do. And, obviously, guys, you know, please, you know, stay safe. And, yeah, and I hope you have a fantastic Easter, and I hope you're enjoying this gorgeous weather we're having. But please let me know, guys, and I will speak to you soon.